Hey everyone, this is Prince from DC Programmer. Welcome back to yet another exciting video. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the effect that ChatGPT has on my programming work as of now, the things that I have learned from it, and what you should be doing to secure your future. Now, ChatGPT is here for quite some time and the world is going crazy. We are having questions from whether we are going to lose our jobs to the things that it can do, it can't do, the effect that it has, and there are some who are even wondering if we are going to fight the Terminators or not. But let's dial it down a little bit in this video and let's see the effect that it actually has in a daily programming life. Now, moving forward, I'm going to tell you something that I'm not going to ask it basic questions like, hey, reverse a list for me or find the smallest element in this list. So I basically actually tried to do something using chat GPT thinking that even without having a knowledge on the subject, if I was able to build this using chat GPT, then this would be a very amazing yet threatening thing. So let's see. So the thing was that I wanted to create a LMS system and I wanted a system where I can drag and drop chapters. So the first thing that I tried to do was to use chat GPT. You can take a look at this, the entire conversation that I had with it. So first I asked chat GPT to generate all the code using react JS. It used react beautiful DND and tried to give me some code. So this is the code that chat GPT gave me. As you can see, it's pretty interesting. But when I actually ran this code, I realized that it's okay is but it's not the thing that I actually need. Like for example, I was not able to drop the chapter. Sometimes while dragging the lessons, I was getting really unnecessary errors. And also interestingly, if you take a look at the code, you will realize that if you are someone who doesn't have the knowledge of React.js, you actually can't mess around with this code to make the necessary changes that you need. I kept giving it prompts and I also generated different codes, some of them that I have deleted and some of them that are still here. But interestingly, even after spending quite some time, I did not get any good solution. So what I did, I asked it to do the same thing, but with Flutter this time. So here, now take a look at this. This has started to give me code in Flutter using different libraries. And even when I move forward with Flutter, I realized that the code that it's giving me is not actually working. So this is the entire code that it gave me with Flutter. Sometimes there were really weird errors. Sometimes the chapter drag will work, but the lesson drag won't work. Sometimes the lesson drag will work, but the chapter drag won't work. So what I did is that I actually did a very simple Google search. And in just two to three minutes, I was able to go to a library. And there I generated and I got this code from Google. And eventually I integrated it and this actually has everything that I need. I was able to drag the lessons and I was able to drag the chapters and it was working. So here, this is a just three to five minutes of work where as you can see, I can actually drag the chapters and I can even drag the lessons from here to there. And the best part is it took me quite just some time. But wait, if you're thinking that I'm trying to assert in some way that chat GPT is not good and a simple Google search is better than chat GPT, that's not what it is. Because if you take a look at this entire code that I just generated yesterday while doing some work, what I did was I gave it prompts to generate some, some Express JS API, some Flutter model, Flutter provider and simple code to actually work with this. And most of the code was actually working perfectly. 90% of this was more than perfect, more than everything that I needed to actually get the job done. The problem can be in my prompts, which I don't think it was. And the problem can be that it's a new model. It's not well trained. But one thing that I did understand while getting a workable solution and a non-working solution was that to make any of this work, I still needed to put up a lot of my own knowledge in the code. So basically, after spending quite some time with chat GPT, asking it to generate a lot of code in Express.js, Next.js, React.js, APIs, Flutter, database queries and whatnot, I realized one very important thing, that the knowledge you require to do your job with the help of chat GPT or Copilot X is equal to the knowledge you require to do your job without the help of chat GPT or Copilot X. It makes you more productive. It may even help you do a few things quicker but it is not a replacement of you, at least not right now and honestly, not anytime sooner. So keep coding, keep learning, keep sharing and visit dcprogrammer.com, the programming techie in you and get a job in this ever-changing world with AI nowadays.